the child, I'm, I'm getting upset. Y'all put negative, nasty energy into the world, and then you get mad when somebody perceives you as the negative, nasty person. Hey, y'all. Okay, so I wanted to come on here and talk about RuPaul's Drag Race uh, and basically the reunion. But uh, please forgive the way I look. Don't don't forget the way I look. Accept the way I look. Accept me for who I am at my worst, okay? Because I'm going to keep it a thousand with you. And if it looks like I've been crying, it's because I have been crying. I watched a video of the Vixen from RuPaul's Drag Race Season 10 doing a performance that moved me to tears. You know, it was an interpretive dance, and it just, it, 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 it was, a, it encompassed many different, um songs and messages it was uh, it was really it was brilliant iconic to say the least like you know academy award and all i really was gonna come on here and 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 go the fuck off on you the vixen i want you to come here i need you to come here because i need to speak to you because you're getting on my freaking nerves i want to like you i really want to like you I, I feel like a lot of us People who watch RuPaul's Drag Race would agree. You're very intelligent. Very, very intelligent. I, I would say you're, I want to say that you're even well spoken, but the way you get up and just run out of situations like a fucking child, okay? Like a big, overgrown, 20 something year old baby. It's, it's just like, girl. This is my issue with you, and, and a lot of people that do stoop, that do the shit that you do. You use these words. Angry black woman, you know, respectability politics, um, these buzzwords that like make, uh, that set off different reactions. You use these words and these narratives to promote your own conflicted bullshit ass agenda. Yes, yes. The angry black woman narrative is used to silence black women, to advocate them being docile and submissive and, 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 um, and second guess themselves and, 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 and make them feel as though that they are in, and make it acceptable for them to be inferior and adhere to, you know, the whole political hierarchy and all them other big ass educational words that don't nobody really, you know, you know, that's what, that's what you need to use to make it seem like you know what the fuck you talking about or whatever. We all know that. But you, that is, that ain't got nothing to do with what the fuck you was doing on RuPaul's Drag Race Season 10. Bitch, what we saw on our TV screen was not no damn angry black woman narrative. It was not no, oh, a black man in a, in a room full of uh, white men and they making him out to be the, the bad guy. No, it was none of that. It was you starting shit. Each and every fucking episode. You came in on the first fucking episode. First thing that come out your fucking mouth is, oh, uh, I'm just here to fight. And all this other shit. Girl, that is combative as fuck. That's aggressive as hell. You, you didn't come here to slay. You didn't come here to, to showcase your talents. You didn't come here to, no, you came here to fight. What the fuck? I mean, bitch, this ain't no damn UFC, UFC, bitch. This ain't wrestling, ho. This, like, this ain't karate class. What are you talking about? Like, what, what the hell? I mean, did you come to fight to the top or you just came to start shit? Because that's all you was doing. I don't even remember you for your drag. I don't remember you for any of that. I don't even remember half the shit that you had on. And anything that I do remember that you had on looked a fucking mess. But then on the other hand, it's like, girl, it's like, you know, you do advocate, you you have these moments where you hitting it right on the head. I like that you be calling white people out on their bullshit. I like that. I, lo I love it. I like that you are an advocate somewhat for my story. Black women and black gay men, uh, we do have um, similar circumstances. And, and then on the other hand, we have far different circumstances as we already know that I, and I'm not about to get into that in this episode but I like that you used somewhat of your platform to, to uh, talk about that but for the most part we saw you being that messy girl you're that girl that like when every when something pops off you already know who was somewhat involved it's all you know what I'm saying like and it take one to know one low-key because I was that girl too I would respect you if you would just stand up in it and say yes bitch I'm messy boots okay I start mess I I talk shit I gossip I tell where I get it from I da, 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 da. 
and and that and who and who gonna pop me or what have you but you want to take that shit and some and spin it into this angry black woman narrative and oh y'all just using this to silence me and y'all painting me out to be the bad guy bitch you came in talking about you wanting to fight you you painted yourself out to be the bad guy girl what are you talking about now and quite frankly i don't appreciate you using the black woman narrative to 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 promote your own agenda I, that's not cool okay so I'm, I'm not gonna speak on the half of all black women okay i'm just gonna speak on the half of this one right here uh uh you need to shut the fuck up keep black women's name the fuck up out your motherfucking mouth because i really don't I, I i take i take offense to to you um using our our story okay to 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 just do whatever the fuck you want and to, and to just be nasty and to be mean-spirited i was trying to hold back and I did hold back, quite frankly, as far as I'm concerned, because I, I really could have said a lot more. But I, I, I held, I'm holding back because, because your the piece that I saw that I spoke about previously it moved me so much. Her interpretation of it was just, it was excellent. But my issue with it is that that's not your story, like at least not the story that's um, that was presented to us on RuPaul's Drag Race. Now your story outside of that, I'm not here to dispute. But what was what was presented to me on RuPaul's Drag Race is you starting shit. That is mutually exclusive from black women black women being targeted and, and all that other shit like stop and it's like you're not a black woman like I, I don't I mean unless you are a black woman and if you are then hey I'm not here to dispute that either but on the show you were presented to me as just a, as a black gay man who occasionally dressed up as a woman who interpreted who impersonated women and RuPaul RuPaul, we gonna get, we gonna get back. Tr trust me, we gonna talk about RuPaul and this white privileged race soon and very soon. But as of right now, you know, RuPaul, he has some valid points. And don't give me like, oh, it's editing and shit, bitch. They can only do but so much with what you give them. It's like y'all, y'all. Ooh, child, I'm, I'm getting upset. Y'all put negative nasty energy into the world and then you get mad when somebody perceives you as the negative nasty person it was good tv it was it was entertaining i do think that at, at some point it felt like you were being attacked and everybody was coming at you and people weren't you know giving eureka a fair you know the fa a fair go round however the difference between you and eureka is eureka was receiving what was being said to her you weren't honey bitch you was sitting there lying you lying like you like oh no i didn't start anything i'm just telling the truth like girl what are you talking about i mean fuck eureka for real like i don't fuck with her she be saying there's videos of her saying the n-word so it's it's i don't even buy the villain like no the vixen because i do love the vixen i do have love for her but i i love the i love you but I just no no this not today I'm not here for your bullshit and you in your performance this iconic performance that I keep on referencing you 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 reference all these things that's relevant to America and and you brought it back to the black woman and how she's constantly being disregarded. At no at no point within the reunion did you use your utilize the biggest platform that you've ever been on to talk about that. Like I can make my exit. Da 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 da. And no no no. Ah, 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 bitch, girl, you ain't nobody's Mariah. You ain't don't nobody know you, and we barely even liked you. Okay, we were trying we was we was trying to get to know you and shit, and you just left a nasty ass taste in our mouth. Like, like, you know, you regardless of what you're advocating for, girl, you had your opportunity to advocate for it and you walk the fuck out. And what just leads me, gives me more reason to think that you full of shit. And maybe you're just immature as fuck and you need to sit your ass down. I'm just telling y'all how I feel or whatever on my platform. Make sure y'all subscribe. Let me know how y'all feel because I'll, I'll be back for a part two. Deuces.